Welcome to Math Window. Solve this equation about a, a plus three all to the power four, then plus a plus one all to the power four is eighty-two. Which method should we use? This is the question. High exponents. So consider the substitution. This method is always useful for dealing with the high exponents. So now, which one should be substituted? A plus three or a plus one? Neither nor. Why? For dealing with this kind of questions, they have the same high exponents, and the bases a plus three, a plus one. The coefficients before a or in front of a. Are same one, but here is three. Here is plus one, so we have to find the mean of these two term. Of course, it is a plus two, and then we should substitute the mean term, not this or this. Their mean a plus two, that. Their mean a plus two is equal to. X. I want you to reflect. Why have we substituted a plus two as x, not a plus three or a plus one? When we substitute a plus two as x, we will let it be x. Then a plus three would be x plus one, and then all to the power four, and then plus a plus one. It should be x minus one all to the power four. You can see that plus one minus one. After the expanding, many terms can be cancelled. So this is the strong point, and the next expand. Before expanding, hmm, something really little. I'm gonna do it. X plus one all to the power four. It can be written as x plus one all to the power two, and then square. If you don't know the formula, of course you can do it with by using this method. Four can be regarded as two squared. If you don't know the formula with exponent four, then Just two and then two. This formula a plus b all squared. You should know, but don't confuse this a with this a. This is just formula, and this is our problem. Okay, it is a squared plus two ab, then plus b squared. So then, x plus one all squared. It is x squared plus two x. Then plus one, and then all squared, and then plus x minus one squared. It is x squared minus two x, and then plus one, all squared. Give me two. Our problem is this two, two. Another formula we should use. A plus b plus c, all squared. A squared plus B squared plus C squared, and then plus two AB plus two BC, and then plus two AC. X squared all squared it is x to the power four, and then plus two x all squared it is four x squared, and then plus one, and then plus two AB. That is four times x cubed. Two bc it is four x, and then two ac it is plus two x squared. And then here plus x squared all squared is x to the power four, and negative two x all squared it is also four x squared plus one. Now two ab. It is negative 
for x cube and it is to be c it is negative ah sorry four y root two four times x and then plus two times ac that is two x squared this is the left side okay so this is the left hand side. Mm -hmm. Or actually it is not LFH, LHS. Hmm. Hmm. This. Look. X to the power 4, X to the power 4. Two times. 4X squared, 2X squared, 4X squared, 2X squared. That is 12X squared. And then plus 1, plus 1, plus 2. Here. Positive, 4x cubed. Negative, 4x cubed. They can be cancelled. And 4x, negative 4x. The rest of this term is 11 sign, which x to the power 4, x to the power 4, 2 times x to the power 4. Plus, this is 12x squared. And then times... No, plus 2. It is equal to? The right hand side is 82. So then, what should you do? Divide the both hand sides by 2. You can get x to the 4, then plus 6x squared. Plus 1 is equal to 41. And then, remove this 41 from the right hand side. Subtract the 41 from the both sides is plus 1 minus 41 it is minus 40 on the left hand side. We know that x to the power 4 is just x squared or squared. So it is x squared or squared plus 6 times x squared. And then minus 40 is 0. By factorizing, you can do it. x squared minus 4, and then times x squared plus 10. And it's equal to 0. Two cases. First case, x is equal to negative or positive 2. That means x squared is 4. When x squared is equal to 4, then x is positive or negative 2 and a is what? 0 or negative 4 the second case x squared is equal to negative 10 of course it can be when it is a real number so there are any solutions there are any roots in this case so only under the first case there are two roots Did you get them? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, join my channel as a member. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.